Okay, everybody, here we go. Post-market wrap-up on this Tuesday, August 30th, 2022. People, what are we looking at? What are we really looking at here? Let's talk about that. The yield curve continues to invert even further. The 10-year yield, no relief here. No relief in sight. Global bond yields continue to swell. Debt is selling off. People, what we're looking at here is the early, early, early stages of a full-on liquidity crisis. Look, the whole system is illiquid to begin with. It's insolvent. It's debt-based from stem to stern, okay? Without, without more cash being infused into this, it's just done. It's a Ponzi. Not, you know, everything is a Ponzi these days. So what you're looking at here... Um, is again, in my opinion, the very early stages of a full-on liquidity crisis, a freezing up of the financial system. Um, and more than likely, if this doesn't stop, you already know what I'm gonna tell you here. If you and I continue to see global bond yields rise, 10-year yield not stopping here, it's, it's just over. The financial system as we know it will end okay period that's it so that's it. it's as simple as that it's a liquidity crisis in the early phases in in my opinion here and this is being driven deliberately people you know the grand plan the grand plan is very simple to bring the world to its knees before central banks who are Hell bent, and I mean that word in the literal sense, hell bent on being the lenders and buyers of last resort. Allow a problem to manifest itself so big that it rocks the foundation of the earth, the entire financial system. Okay, this is what is being done here deliberately by central banks who have inflated a Frankenstein bubble like we've never seen before. Now, again, there are... I've been telling you since day one, there's going to be a terrible price to pay for this. And we're starting to see things kind of move around a little bit here. Without more intervention, I can't say this another way, without more intervention, it's just done. Central banks must buy more or it's just over. And maybe it is just over. I don't know here. Okay, I've been saying that I believe they're going to do more. Central banks are going to do more. Well, they haven't done more yet, but nothing, look, what's happened? Over the past three days, this market has fallen under pressure. We continue to get bad economic news. Now, did you see crude oil today? On the continuing bad economic news, it doesn't stop. Crude oil took a big hit today. Nice shot in the chin here, falling 5%. That obviously hit financials. It hit um Energy, obviously. Financials are dependent on crude oil. That's why I bring that up. Investment banks leverage beyond their eyeballs in crude oil. They're the ones that finance the whole damn thing. Okay, so if, if crude isn't doing well, banks aren't doing good, as well as energy companies. You understand? It's, this whole thing is just tied together in so many twisted ways here. But anyway, just, just going back to the market here. So crude took a hit on continuing bad economic news that's not going to stop. As a matter of fact, let's touch on that real quick. So um, most of you know who Stephen, Stephen Roach is. He's a renowned economist. Now, I'm going I'm to read a quote to you. Regarding the economy, this is what he said, the worst is yet to come. So don't listen to Greg Manorino. Uh, you know, listen to these other people. How about this one? Morgan Stanley, and I just sent this out in my free newsletter, you should have it in your box if you haven't checked it yet. Morgan Stanley is now warning. Morgan Stanley, not Greg Manorino, is warning of a credit market implosion. Does that sound familiar to you? Yeah, it really should sound familiar to you. Like I said, once in a while you get the truth. Okay, look, the whole thing, this whole freaking shit house, upside down, backwards and sideways, it's a... Uh, it's a house of cards built on top of a pool of gasoline. And that pool of gasoline is the debt market, okay? It's going to go off. 
It's going to take everything with it, people. Just, again, don't listen to Greg Manorino. The system is illiquid. The system is insolvent. It can't continue. Anyway, uh, on, 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 on a laughable note, let's laugh about this. So, <laughs> Rick Santelli today, CNBC, reporting that consumer sentiment unexpectedly jumps higher. Consumers are happy and gleeful as they're continuing to pay more for everything as everything continues to shrink, as our economy falls even faster here. And what else did we find out? That more layoffs are, are coming. More and more big corporations that employ thousands and thousands of people are saying layoffs are coming, layoffs are coming. Sounds like uh, pretty serious to me. Does it sound like a recession to you or depression here? Um, also, we got another uh, piece of information here. So Credit Suisse is slashing their global equities call that the market will go higher. Now they are warning of pain ahead. Yeah, absolutely. If this doesn't stop, if we don't see bond yields start to come down, it's, it's over. It's over as over can be. You already know that. Don't listen to Greg Manorino. Listen to Morgan Stanley. Listen to world-renowned economists all saying the same things I've been telling you for years. But no, no, no. It's, it's, uh, I'll tell you, people, there's no way out of a full-on liquidity freeze-up. I mean, a lock-up of the system. It's going to happen. It's going to happen by design, as I have explained to you, literally since time immemorial. The goal here of central banks working in concert with their respective governments, okay, the puppet show, is to bring the world to its knees on, on, on uh, an economic basis here, to destroy the economy of the world, to wipe out the entire middle class here to create the largest transfer of wealth that has ever been seen in the history of the world. That is where we are going here. With regard to a liquidity crisis, people, you need to have some cash in hand, okay? Because understand what this means. It's going to happen. Right now, we're in the early stages, in my view. This doesn't stop with the debt, with, with the ballooning bond yields. It's, it's just over. No cash in the banks. You can't get cash out of the banks. ATMs don't work, debit cards don't work, credit cards don't work, the whole system freezes up, interbank lending stops, the whole system just ends, okay? Uh, that's where we're going, if, if you don't already know, so you need to prepare for this, okay, seriously. Now, let's touch on this market, okay, so as I said, 10-year yield, no relief in sight here. Still about 3.11. Yield curve is inverting even further, which, you know, you want to look back on history. This is going to tell you that this is showing us clear sign in your face. Economy is collapsing. The economy is collapsing by design. Make no mistake about it. And you're going to be lied to by presidents and everyone else is going to tell you how great we are. There's zero inflation. Our economy is strong. You know who I'm talking about here. Okay, anyway. So the tales will get taller. Just, I want you to remember that. The lies, the propaganda, the distortions, the look here, don't look here, all of that. It's going to get a lot worse moving forward, especially with the midterms coming here. So on the back of the, the no relief here in the debt market, stocks took a hit yet again. Crude oil got hit, as I said, dollar flat. Bitcoin's still around 20000 Gold and silver, wouldn't you be surprised to find out that they also fell under pressure here? But good. I don't care what they do. What they do. We understand the game. Let them play their, their game. We'll play our game. I'm not going to change my perspective on this. There's just no way it's going to happen, okay? Cash moves through markets in predictable manners, okay? For example, like we're seeing here, this, this, this debt liquidity issue here is hitting the stock market. The, mar the market realizes, hey, there's a problem here. There is clear instability in the debt market, early stages of liquidity crisis. It should be obvious to you. If it's not, please let me know. I, I think it's pretty evident here. Um, if it doesn't turn around, it's just done. The whole system, forget about the stock market. The entire system is done. And then a new one's going to come in. Understand, they already have it. A new system is coming in, more control. You already know this. You've heard me tell you this for years. 
Uh, it's not going to be pretty. I can tell you right now. They already have it in the works. They're just waiting for the end game here to play out. Debt market implosion. Listen to Morgan Stanley. Don't listen to Greg Manorino anymore. And yes, I did. Please check your email box if you subscribe to my free newsletter. Link in the description of this video. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe there. Anyway, people, look, um, what else can I tell you? What, what do you think? Could you really make any of this stuff up? It's, it's worse than anything you could possibly imagine, but it's real. It's, it's, everything is just so in our face right now. And uh, as I always said, and I always say, we, we need each other. We got to come together uh, and, and realize who the enemy really is. It's not, it's not you and I. We're not enemies of each other. Not, 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 you know, they want you to believe that, you know, your neighbor hates your guts. You should hit, hit his guts back. Uh, divide and conquer. No, we know who the enemy is. And I'm still waiting for the people to take the streets. Um, nothing. Crickets. All right, look, I'm out of here. Please comment, share the video. See you in the morning.